Hello YouTube, this is Brent Todd from Team Lucky 7 Gaming and today I'm going to start a video series on our channel Team Lucky 7 Gaming that will walk you through how to build a server. This is going to be for basic uh, server administrators that have never built a server before for Minecraft and uh, yeah, we're going to walk you through baby steps of how to do it. And this is coming from a person that created play.blockinsanity.us colon 25729 and here is our home page for our actual server. There you are. We will have forums soon. But anywho, um, I'm going to show you how to make the gifts. I'm going to show you how to make, you know, the in-game stuff. You know, all this stuff. I will show you how to do. So we're going to actually start with your first decision as a server owner. Whether or not you're going to go with a dedicated server that's on the virtual uh, side or it's going to be home-based. I go virtual servers and the server administrative um, server hoster I use is PY2Host and they have relatively cheap prices if you do not like them um, please do put another uh, hoster in the comments and I will check them out but the cool thing about them is they use SSD 100% and that's all their servers so we're not going to talk about um, hosters at this point in time we're going to talk about making your own server and finding out how we're going to run bucket for the sake of all these tutorials because we want plugins we don't want to run vanilla but you could always run vanilla from minecraft.net by going to minecraft.net download it here and then hit minecraft server this is for basic you know really basic servers uh, we're running a more advanced but yeah whatever so I'm going to put a link in the description below to bucket.org's download page and all you're going to do is come here and then you're going to hit the download for 1.6.4 or the latest version that is currently out for you. Once it's downloaded, we're going to want to make a server on our desktop. We're going to call it Minecraft Server. And do please, if you are lost, pause the video, take a step back and watch it again. You know, I'm going fast, but that's because I know what I'm doing. Okay, so next we're going to add this to the actual folder and f to save time uh, in the long run, we're actually going to always rename the newest build to craft bucket and it's already dot jar so you don't need to ever change the dot jar thing, it just leave it as craft bucket, this way it's going to make it easier on you and you'll see why in a couple minutes. So we're going to actually start up this file now so we can start downloading some of the things we need. And if you do want to change the world, it's going to, like the main world is going to start as world. If you want to change that, you're going to have to go through the server properties, but we're going to talk about that in a little bit. So now we're going to let this go. I don't know why it's taking so long. Interesting. Let's, and if you want to stop the process while it's going, just go in here and hit that. But it should kick me out of Minecraft as well. Stop both the processes, and then we're going to restart it. And there he goes. It downloads everything we need, and yeah. So we're not going to mess with plugins for this episode. We're actually only going to mess with a couple of main things that we actually need. So first, we're going to start off by making new text document. We're going to call it run. doesn't matter how you spell it. I like capitals just because that's me. Uh, so from there, we're, we're going to edit it. And we're going to go to this website, uh, link in the description below. And from here, you're going to find out what kind of system you're using, Windows, Linux, Mac, OS X. Uh, I'm running Windows, so I need this code right here. I'm going to give, just give me one second to explain what this means. 1,024 megabytes is equivalent to one gigabyte. If you want to go two gigabytes, you need 2048. If you want to ever find out how many gigabytes you need, take 1024 multiplied by the amount of gigabytes. Simple as that. If you've ever been taught that 1000 megabytes equals 1 gigabyte, I don't know who the hell taught it to you, but they were dumb. They have messed you up. All right, next part, craftbucket.jar. That's what we renamed it to. Now you don't need to ever come back in this text document to change that. You might change your um, megabyte settings, but I would refer to other guides that will teach you how to do that. For the sake of this tutorial and for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. Anyways, next you need to save it, and we're going to save it as run.bat. Bat means batch file, which will run in um, Windows-based systems. And now we can actually just run it, and it should just start running the system. And yes, I am running another server, I believe, currently. I don't know where it is. Actually, it might still be running my yeah, Java thing, whatever. 
Okay, so now we should be able to run it. Okay, there we go. So now it's now it's running, and now we're creating our spawn. You're gonna let it, I'm gonna let it do it for now. All right. So now once it's done, um, we actually aren't done at all. <laughs> we're actually done a portion, uh, but we can join it now. So if you're making a local server um, game, just go ahead and make that, and you know you can pretty much stop the tutorial here by hitting play, going to Minecraft, and um, Give it one second, multiplayer, direct connect, and we're gonna go to local host. And your friends or whatever can go by your IPv4 if they're in your own house. If they're in your house, they can use your IPv4. How do you find your IPv4, you ask? You can either hit the start button, type CMD, or you can hit uh, start R, type run, or sorry, not run, type CMD, hit OK type IP config oh I spelt it wrong all right right here IPv4 192.168.2.4 that is your address on your router and you're gonna use that to connect LAN locally people that are in your house wireless blah 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 that is how you're gonna connect locally now you're gonna ask how do I make a server that connects to the internet well my fine sir Next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to look at this default gateway. Mine's 192.168.2.1. And you're going to use that, and you're not going to click that. You're going to hit 192.168.2.1. And you're going to go to virtual servers, or, you know, you're going to go through the whole port forwarding um, finasco. If you need a, a in-step depth guide, um, go look on another tutorial. Mine's only for Belkin right now. Um, but if you already know how to port forward, great. All you need to do is click this, type Minecraft um, 25565. Uh, 25, um, I don't think that really matters. We're 42565. 25565. 25, That's the only port we need to uh, make sure it goes through. Hit apply changes. And once that's done, we can actually start doing this once that's done go ahead and hit type stop on your server we can close this we can close our uh, thing or whatever and now we can go to our server properties right click edit with notepad plus plus edit with you know word edit with open office edit with notepad I don't care what you use just edit with something and uh, this is where you can actually change the world but when you change the world in the folder you need to change it here as well uh, but the thing we're actually going to be looking at is server IP which is 192 which it, is going to be our IPv4 so one time 192.168.2.4 is mine and then I'm going to save and once it's saved I can then run the server once more and I can also look up my IP so what is my IP into Google I'm not gonna show you mine but I will look up mine alright I've got my IP and so once that's done go ahead and pull up your Minecraft once more probably should have left mine open would have been a better idea on my part but once you've got your Minecraft over open go ahead and hit play of course and get into the actual main menu of Minecraft and I'm gonna make mine a little bit smaller for now and hit multiplayer hit direct connect and type in your IP I'm gonna type mine in over here so you don't obviously see my IP uh, and you just type it in just as you would as you see it in Google and as you can tell I have successfully logged into my Minecraft server which we can then edit in the next episode to make it just a little bit better um, so it's not just vanilla Minecraft. Anyways, guys, this has been episode one of our Minecraft tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time, and I hope you learned a lot. I hope your server is operable by now. Please click an annotation in the end, uh, at the end of the episode or right now to go to the next episode.